guys so today i have a box for from amazon i'm unboxing the purex mx 2000 so let me get this open and i'll be back so here's the product itself the purex mx 2000 um it's pretty cold because i just got it from the mail right now like five minutes ago so here it is i got the red version the mx 2000r uh, that's, at least that's what it said. Yeah, it's, uh, this comes with a gold-plated USB cord. Um, I think seven programmable buttons. Um, it has a DPI switch, and um, you can click left or right. Seems nice. It's for right-handed people, though, so if you're left-handed, you're kind of excluded out. So, let's see. The inches per I don't know it's 150 um, it has a braided USB cable uh, gold plated USB 2.0 and rubber black painting but obviously it's red um, here it's just um, the specs it's up to 5000 dpi there's a DPI adjustment, like I said. Um, oh, it's 11 buttons. So there's also a weight tuning cartridge tuning system. And it's a laser mouse, so that's nice. So I'll be back once I open up the pack this package. So right off the bat, you could tell if I lift this up. Well, let's get this last. So it comes with um, a manual, I think. Program... Yeah, user manual, and then this is a CD. So let's get this out. And the cartridge um, weight tuning thing has fallen. So here's the mouse itself. Let me get it out. The cord does not want to get out of the package. <sighs> Still trying to get it out. Alright, let me put the camera down for a second. So here's the mouse. You don't have to click really hard for it to click. Um, okay, it's probably because it's cold. You can see like kind of a finger outlining. Um, right now the mouse feels really, really light. But down here, as you can see, it has the cartridge tuning thing. I just opened it up. And then it has six um, slots to place the weights, which are five grams each, I think. I'm not sure, but here they are. They're just like metal pieces. Um, let's see if I can get one out. Yeah, so it doesn't indicate how much they are. Focus. Focus. I'm gonna focus. Yeah, so they don't indicate how much they are, but you could place them on the bottom spot, like, if I could even put it in. I'm having trouble with this. That's sad. Her, nope, nope, yep, got it. So as you can see, it fit in like that, and yeah. Now, my first impressions of this mouse is it feels really nice in the hands. You don't have to like click really hard. You just you don't even have to apply that much pressure on it. You know, like press it so lightly. Feels really nice on your um hand. I'm gonna be used to it because I've been using the Logitech um M510 and they somewhat have the same kind of like um structure kind of. This has like an indentation here and here, and this one has that as well, so I'm already used to this. Now, there's, this is actually a button, this button, this is actually a button. I thought that was like part of the design, like, of the thumb rest. Um, there are two more buttons here, um, forward and back. The DPI switcher up down 
left to right. Scroll wheel feels really nice. And there is a button over here. So I'm going to hook this up to my Asus G75VW and I'll show you. So I hooked it up to my computer and the first thing you would notice is maybe the LED over here and that as well. So this right here is the DPI levels. The bottom part is the first level which is the slowest. The fourth is the highest. Um, the scroll wheel actually feels really nice. You could hear the clicks or like the kind of like noise scroll wheels are made. Um, okay. uh, one of the cons about this mice, mouse is that you could see it t kind of turning black. It has like fingerprints. Um, right here on the right side you have a button right here. That button um, changes this coat, the color of the LED here. So you can see it's changing. You have green, red, and blue. Now on the left side we have the forward and back and a double clicker right here. And that's all the physical features of the mouse. Um, I added all the weights to it and this isn't a laser apparently, even though it's, it's set on the box. I'm pretty sure this is an optical, not a laser mouse. So, it feels really nice in your hand, to be honest. Um, it's an actually really good mouse for just the price of $30 approximately. Um, If you want a cheap mouse, I would recommend getting this instead of getting like a Razer, Death Adder, Abyss, or all those other fancy mouses if you're on a budget. Now out of 1 to 10, I would rate this mouse about 9. Only problem I have with it is it, you could see fingerprints. You see how like this part's uh, darker shading and this part gets lighter. It's not because of the, like the light here, but you could obviously see it gets way darker over here where your like fingers touch it like your fingertips so thanks for watching my first ever unboxing video now obviously this is my first it won't be perfect like i make i'm making a lot of mistakes but you know it's my first one maybe in the future when i get a little bit more comfortable I'll be able to say things without stuttering a lot, um, and make it more better. And if I get a camera and a tripod, obviously, that will make this, my unboxings, much more better. Because I'd be able to use both my hands, but I'm only restricted to be using one. And then I would have to switch to the other one if I want to, um, use, like, my right hand. And sometimes my fingers get in the way, you know. Okay, like this kind of sometimes and then I move it away so I'm sorry about all that but I hope you enjoyed this unboxing slash review all right comment and subscribe peace